contact, well, the other day I was contacted by a company to do um, a video for some of their Instant Pot inserts. I am going to insert a picture here and show you everything that came in the box. Um, but I wanted to show you a video of how to use one of the items. Now I've done these before and they usually come out really nice. Um, it's always something new to try. It's fun to try, but honestly you learn great ways um, to, to do the same thing but differently. Easier, faster, whatever the case is. So today I'm going to show you how to make these little egg bakes in the this cute little mold that it comes with. And um, I'm really excited to try this because my husband loves eggs for breakfast. And usually the easiest thing to do is just make hard-boiled eggs so he could take it because he leaves really early for work. Um, but sometimes you get tired of the same thing every single day. And there's not much you can do with a hard-boiled egg to change it up. So this is a great way to do all kinds of different eggs. Today we're gonna to do a broccoli cheddar one. So I have five eggs in the bowl here. And you wanna start mixing those up. You could use beaters, you could put it in a blender if you'd want, if you'd like. All right, so I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of half and half. Now everything that comes in this particular kit, I have used before and I really, really like it. And sometimes you can use some of the products differently than what they're actually meant for, and I'll show you what I mean. So the product comes with this trivet, this egg trivet. Um, you put the eggs in here, you put them in your Instant Pot, and that's how you make hard-boiled eggs, which I am still going to make some because my husband still takes those. But, I'm... Okay, sorry about that. The camera shut off. So I'm going to repurpose this, and I put the trivet in to the Instant Pot, and I'm going to put this on top of it. So what I did with this is I just put it in my sink... And I sprayed it with a nonstick cooking spray. And then down in the bottom here, I put a little bit of cheddar cheese. And I put in some of this chopped broccoli. I used one big floret of broccoli, finely chopped it, and put about a teaspoon in each, and then about a teaspoon in each of the cheese. So to make it easy to scoop the eggs into here, I'm going to use my cookie scoop or you could call it an ice cream scoop, whatever you want. And I just, hopefully this will make it easier for me. Or if you have a ladle, you could do that. However you want to get it from one into the other. So I'm gonna start pouring this in. Oh, let me see if you guys could see better. There we go. I'm trying to get it in without spilling it everywhere. And this goes right in the dishwasher, super easy, very convenient. I love that. So you just wanna fill them right to the top. Now, if you put a lot of toppings in here, of course you're not gonna get quite as much egg in there. So that's, you know, try to be a little conscious of that. And the larger your eggs, the less you will need to use, of course. All right, so here's our silicone top. I'm going to put that right on. Just like that. It will snap on. You just got to pull it out just a touch. All right, so now we're going to take this and put this in on top of the trivet. Let me move you guys over so you can see better. make that sure that's all on there now you always want to make sure that your ring your silicone liner is in place 
you're going to put it down at an angle. Make sure this is facing the back of your pot. Turn like that. And then over here, you want to make sure it's on ceiling. Then over here, we're going to push the manual button. Mine's already on high. If it's not, hit the pressure button. That'll toggle back and forth. And then you're just going to either plus or minus, depending you know where you need to be and where you are. So this needs to be at eight minutes, and then it's going to automatically start. Okay, so once this comes up to pressure, the eight minutes will start counting down. Once the eight minutes count down, you're going to let this naturally release for five minutes. That means leave it alone for five minutes. Then you're going to come back up here and turn this to venting after the five minutes. And once all that's done, we'll be back to see what they look like. So I completely forgot to show you the most important part. Because it'll never come up to temperature unless you put water in here. So you need one cup of water in the bottom. So because I started it, it did that. And that's fine. It's just like being on the saute function, so that's fine. So anyways, I'm going to put that down, put that on again for the eight minutes. And once the eight minutes are done, then we will let it um, naturally release for five on its own. And then we will quick release it for the rest of the way. Okay, so it's all done. It's hit five minutes of natural release. So I'm now going to go over here and... Be very careful. And you're going to quick release it. And I will be right back because it's loud. Okay, so that took one minute. Just some extra water. Now I am going to use the mitts that come with it to get this out because I don't want to burn my hands. This makes it a lot easier. So we will take that out and put that off to the side. All right, so I am going to move all of this out of the way. Let those cool down for just a couple minutes and I'll show you what they look like. Okay, so they're still super hot. Here is what they look like nice and cooked all the way through. Let me get a plate. And of course, in the real world, you will let these cool down completely. But I just want to get them out to show you guys just how super easy it is. So you just push them and they come right out. Just like that. Look at that. That's awesome. Let me show you real quick before I get the rest out. And again, they're super hot. So look how cute they are. You have that broccoli that's nice and cooked and it goes throughout. It doesn't just stay because it was in the bottom and the cheese is all the way throughout. So I'm just gonna sh cut one open to show you just what it looks like, that it is cooked all the way through. See, perfect. I just want you guys to see how it is cooked perfectly through. Okay, guys, so I will leave the link down below for this kit. It is pretty awesome. I use most of the stuff that's in there. Um, I've used it in different ways, not just what it's technically intended for. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe and share, and I'll talk to you all next time. Bye.